Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Baring, naturopathic doctor, guiding you on your health journey and of course doing things optimally and naturally. Today I am talking all about the signs and symptoms of a salt deficiency. So often we think of having too much salt as being a problem, but really the research shows and in the way that people are feeling, it shows that a salt deficiency may be a lot more common than what we think. So some of those signs and symptoms could be weight gain and again, you would probably think the complete opposite if you are gaining weight and you have too much salt what you think is too much salt in your diet that that will cause water retention but if you're lacking in having enough sodium and salt and the minerals that go along with salt in the diet, then this can actually cause for you to gain weight and not be able to burn off that body fat. So making sure that you have the optimized amount of salt in your diet is really something that you have to focus on. Another sign is headaches. So this could be something that, you know, you're definitely, if you have chronic headaches, this could be migraine headaches, it could be related to your electrolyte balance. Certainly if you've been out in the hot sun and you've been perspiring a lot or over exercising this can cause a headache and that can be again caused by a salt deficiency if you get a lot of muscle cramps and weakness in the muscles this is something else that can be related to a lack of salt we know that athletes they are definitely on top of their salt consumption especially before their training before an event to ensure that they don't run the risk of developing the cramps and the weakness in their muscles we also know that poor balance of blood glucose so our blood sugar levels can be related to a lack of salt so their research also shows that metabolic syndrome and diabetes can be related to a salt deficiency so again ensuring that our metabolism is working at the level that it should be and making sure that our insulin is allowing for that glucose to get into the cells for that proper metabolism is reliant on having enough salt so this is really important for anybody who does have problems with balancing their blood glucose levels to ensure that they're optimizing their salt intake. We also know that high blood pressure, yes, high blood pressure can be related to a salt deficiency. So opposite of what most people have heard or have experienced in visiting their doctor that, you know, usually the salt restriction diet is what is indicated for, you know, somebody who has a high blood pressure, but in some cases, and it's more of, it happens more often than what you would think, it is that salt deficiency that can be related to that poor regulation of the blood pressure as well as allergies so we know that allergies and what's going on with our gut so proper digestion even acid reflux is reliant on having enough salt so we know that salt is NaCl sodium chloride well we need that Cl the chloride to make our HCl which is our hydrochloric acid our stomach acid in our stomach so if we're deficient in salt we may not not have enough chloride to make our stomach acid the HCl and this can be one of the causes for allergies and leaky gut syndrome but also acid reflux and the improper digestion. We also know that constipation can be related to a salt deficiency. So if you're having difficulty with frequency of bowel movements and you're on the slower side, intaking a little bit more salt in the diet may be exactly what's needed to help to get things moving. And we also know that poor sleep can be related to a salt deficiency and people that are, you know, for medical reasons, put on a salt, a lower salt or low lower sodium diet, they are often will experience a deficiency in their ability to sleep. So this is something that's definitely correlated. So, you know, finding that optimal level is really important. Irritability. So this can affect our moods as well. If we're not, you know, getting enough salt in our daily diet, that can cause irritability as well, as well as short-term memory loss can be related to lack of salt. And we see this definitely in the aging population that you know ensuring that there's enough salt in the diet is really important restlessness as well and loss of energy and fatigue can be caused by a lack of salt even drowsiness so lacking that get up and go energy and feeling very drowsy can be related to a salt deficiency as well if this becomes very excessive with the salt deficiency with hyponatremia then there's also nausea and vomiting can be some of the symptoms 
symptoms and even seizures. So ensuring that we're getting a proper salt intake is really important. I talk in other videos as to how to do that and the best types of salts, so make sure that you check those out. So today I talked all about the signs and symptoms of a salt deficiency. If you do have questions or comments about this video, I'd love to hear from you, so please drop that in the comment section below. Be sure to share this video as well, and I appreciate a big thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you'll subscribe and also click that bell so that you can turn on your notifications so that you'll always be aware of my newest and latest uploads. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching. Thank you.